Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be messages for the collective from Spirit. We're going to see what comes out here. Okay. Happy Sunday, guys. Okay. So this is for the collective. What is the messages here? The energy coming towards the collective. This is coming week, Spirit. In the upcoming days, what's this energy that's coming towards the collective, please? Yeah, guys, I the Jesus of the white light. What is the energy coming towards the collective in the upcoming days? One more time. Okay. I'm going to split the deck here. I have not done that in a while. I'm doing it. Okay, let's see. So five of wands, we got, it may be some um, arguing or some competition here. We have the ace of pentacles, okay? Maybe it's a fighting over an opportunity here. But that's, um, that's an opportunity. That's a gift, okay? That's a divine grant from the universe. So I'm getting a new job or a new home or a raise. This could be anything, Yeah, the four of pentacles. I'm getting you're really holding on to this opportunity that was given to you or or you feel like you made a really good investment here. Yeah, you're confident in a in a decision that you made here. What is this for the collective? All right, we're gonna take what flipped over. King of Pentacles, yes. I'm getting a business deal or a big business move or investing. So you've invested a large amount of money possibly here in some kind of project or something or something you're doing here, a business, all right? But I'm getting with the page of swords. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the signing of a contract or signing a big business deal or signing for some money here. 222 two, two on the clock. Yeah, four swords. I'm getting you can rest easy because you, you're confident in the decision that you've made here. Okay. I'm getting some of you are studying or you're taking a test for a, a uh, raise, a large raise possibly. Okay, yeah, the emperor, Aries energy, and the judgment. So big boss shit, King of Pentacles and the Emperor. I'm getting there's a King of Pentacles Emperor energy that is watching you here that wants to make an offer towards you, Ace of Pentacles, something solid. I'm getting somebody wants something very solid with you. I'm getting somebody who's very protective of you with the Four of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. I'm getting somebody who's very possessive and protective. And with the Emperor being here, this is somebody that likes to, this is somebody that watches you. They feel like they have to watch you and protect you or make sure you <laughs> or make sure you're okay or something like that. This is someone you may not be speaking to with the four swords. You may have not spoken to this person in a while, could be four months, but with the judgment, I'm getting somebody wants to come in here. Somebody wants to speak to you or they want to call you or I'm getting somebody's calling you while you're asleep. I'm just getting you made a big decision here. You made a good decision here regarding a business deal or a business move. For those of you that that resonates with, you, you can definitely rest easy because this decision was a good one, okay? I'm getting somebody who's very possessive over you. They watch you. They stalk you. I mean, the King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles can be being very protective, all right? Somebody that wants to provide for you, protect you, give you everything. And with the emperor, it's the same thing. That's a leader, a boss. Somebody well, very well put together. Somebody here has got it. Yeah, two of cups. I didn't even see that. So this is a relationship. Somebody wants a relationship with you. They want to be your emperor, your king of pentacles. They want to be your everything. All right. They're watching you heavily here. Maybe you big boss shit, king of pentacles, emperor, that you handle your business. You're doing your thing. Maybe you're doing your calling here with the judgment card. 
I'm getting the angels protect you in your sleep. Like they fly over your bed. They fly over you. Some of you had a dream about a loved one. Maybe someone that passed away. Maybe you went, you saw them in heaven or or you, you talked to them for a few minutes or you guys danced or whatever in this dream. But for others of you, this is someone who's watching you, who wants you here. They want a relationship. They're in love with you with the two of cups. Yeah, the queen of cups. Yeah, they're in love. This, the queen of cups can be the king of cups. The emperor can be the empress. It's not gender here, but I'm getting a masculine energy here for sure. That's in love. It could be with the water sign or it could be any sign. But yeah, the two of cups, someone, the queen of cups is very nurturing, very loving, very caring. Okay, it could be a Pisces. What is this energy? We have an, the Ten of Cups and the Temperance. So I'm getting the perfect blending of energies. I'm getting somebody sees you as the perfect person for them. If there's been no communication, this person wants to communicate. Ten of Cups is a complete emotional happiness. Somebody's deeply in love here, and all they do is watch you. They're very possessive of you. The King of Pentacles in the four. I'm getting somebody holds you close to their heart. I'm just getting it. Somebody has a hard time expressing their feelings as well because and it's just like the heart chakra is covered here in, in the King of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles card. It's like somebody wants to open their emotions and tell you how much they love you. How much, you know, they want to reconcile or talk to you or whatever. Yeah, the temperance, the perfect blending of energies. This could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, the Six of Cups, Four of Cups, and the temperance. I'm getting all someone does is daydream about you and being with you. All right. Somebody feels like you're just perfect. And no matter who, what females is in front of this masculine, because I feel like this is a masculine. Or with, no matter what options they have, they want this particular person here. This could be somebody that's a business owner, somebody doing that's doing well for themselves. All right, what's the emperor? I'm getting somebody here is in love with you, or this is you. Okay, now we have the... The Ace of Wands in reverse. This deck is not in reverse. Okay, that's an omen. And the Queen of Swords coming out. Okay. Okay. And then we have to the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So I'm getting a perfect match here. What is the Ace of Wands reverse with the Queen of Swords? Okay. We have the two of swords. So somebody is a, a double Libra here, possibly, and the ten of pentacles. The seven of wands. So yeah, the five of cups and the ten of swords. Ten of wands. So I, I'm getting, I'm, I'm feeling here that somebody, somebody lost someone here. It could be a Libra. All right, with these two, um, with the Queen of Swords and Two of Swords. And I'm getting this Libra or this is you. Whatever side you are is no longer taking to action towards this Aries. This Aries or Scorpio. All right. Or this Aries Scorpio is no longer taking action towards this Libra because they, yeah, this Libra could have blocked them. Or this is you. Yeah, Five of Cups, Ten of Swords. Somebody lost someone. They betrayed them. Somebody lost someone. And, and this person, they're, they're rejecting them or they blocked them or they don't want anything to do with them. Yeah, there was a huge betrayal here. I'm getting somebody feels wore down and burdened by what happened here in a situation with someone. But the Ten of Pentacles is here. So that's family as well. That's longevity. Okay. And the Ten of Pentacles is more solid. So here with the Queen of Cups, okay, I mean with the Ten of Cups, it is uh, love, deep emotions. It could also be very, like, because Pisces tend to live in a fairy land and they build fantasies and shit like that. So I'm getting somebody feels in fantasy land with this person. This could be a younger person. Okay. 
like complete emotional happiness. But over here with this person is stability. Ten of Pentacles is happiness, stability, everything, long term. Okay. So I'm getting what's the what's the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups? Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, two of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting somebody's making a decision to reconcile with this person that they missed. That I'm getting a, a um someone from the past. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. This could be someone at a distance with the Eight of Wands, Three of Wands. Somebody's going to move back towards someone that they could have met during their travels here. This could be a younger water sign or or whatever. All right, but I feel like somebody's making a decision to go there because things won't be fixed here. Somebody's realizing that something's over. This Queen of Swords is not taking action. Queen of Wands in reverse, or she's not attracted to this person, or they're not attracted to this person. All right, but somebody's very well off with the Ten of Pentacles. That's family. What's this Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords? Wow, this is an omen. This card, it says about to re reveal or confess. So that's from another deck. All right, so maybe someone's about to reveal or confess something. We have 111 on the clock. I've been seeing that number like nonstop. All right, so let's see what this is. What is the Ten of Pentacles and, the, and what? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. I'm getting somebody over here is just too confident. They've moved on. They're not taking action. Somebody could also be celibate. Somebody's business, somebody's big business shit here. All right, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Empress. Somebody could speak out or somebody, or yeah, the Queen of Wands. Very confident, yeah. What's the Queen of Wands? Yeah, in the Page of Cups. What is the Page of Cups? The Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So I'm getting somebody wants to. I'm getting somebody. I'm getting you're getting a following or somebody's popular here, or be or in or um, could be in the public eye. All right, I'm getting you're being patronized here as well, or this person is whoever this is you're watching or whatever. Okay, I'm getting somebody wants to apologize to this Libra or this Leo. With the page of cups, somebody wants to offer or give a small gesture or offer here. I'm getting somebody's making money too. Yeah, Knight of Wands and the Sun with the Nine of Pentacles. So the Devil and the Magician is here next to each other. Let's see what this is. What is this? Tell me about this over here. We have the King of Wands. We have the King to the Queen of Wands. So I'm getting somebody here. So that's a divine, that's divine counterparts. I'm getting there's a big boss person here watching someone here. And they're gonna call or make an offer. I get I'm getting there just resting here. They're not making, they're not making a move yet. Yeah, the moon. Yeah, secrets. I'm getting somebody secretly watching you here. I'm getting somebody secretly in, secretly in love with you, too. I'm getting somebody that's going to take action here towards you. I'm getting one person wants to take action and somebody else does not. Yeah, Knight of Cups. There's going to be an offer made. I'm getting somebody wants to reconcile and apologize, but somebody doesn't want to hear it. Yeah. I'm getting someone block somebody. They're indifferent to the situation. They could care less. They could care less about the apology or any of that. I'm getting somebody just winning, focus on their business, doing big boss shit here. They're not worried about these secrets or this apology or any of this shit. They're ready to just go on about their business. I'm getting they're doing well. Yeah, somebody's a celebrity, three of cups, six of wands. This definitely could have even been a third party situation. I'm getting there's a cancer or a Sagittarius or something that that... Uh, Okay, what's the messages here? Yeah, we have the five of wands and the six of cups. I'm getting there's arguing and, and uh, fighting here. This could be over uh, child support with the six of cups and the six, six of pentacles. 
and the six of wands. So I'm getting sixes represents, that's a Libra number. So I'm getting also gifts here, a talent or something like that. Yeah, the nine of cups. What's the five of wands, six of cups? I'm getting this is someone that, that wants to reconcile that. Maybe you, all right, what is this? Yeah, the knight of pentacles. This is someone from your past that was that was competitive or put you in competitive situations or tried to. Somebody took forever to make an offer or, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles here. I'm getting somebody, yeah, in the Justice with the Four of Cups. I'm getting the High Priestess and the Three of Swords. I'm getting somebody wants to reconcile that situation here with the Ace of Pentacles coming out first. Um, first of all, I'm getting some kind of money or an opportunity, but I'm getting that somebody's hiding their emotions or somebody wants to come towards you or, or I'm getting this person, yeah, the Nine of Cups. Somebody sees you as emotional fulfillment or maybe you're doing well for yourself. You're on your throne. I'm getting, yeah, you're. I'm getting Seven of Wands. What's that? What's the Seven of Wands? What's the seven of wands? We have the four of cups. And the fool. I'm getting somebody feels like a missed opportunity. They feel like someone wants a new beginning here or to start over. Yeah, the stars. Somebody could be in the public eye. Okay. Highly influential, six of wands, three of cups, and the star, nine of cups, doing very well in their career. We have the king of pentacles, emperor type shit. Somebody could also be studying or learning something new. Somebody could be studying astrology is what I'm hearing. All right, five of cups and the magician. I feel like there's somebody that lost you or you moved on from that is using um, um, black magic or some kind of spell work to bring you back into them. This person feels defeated. This person feels like, what is this? Yeah, the temperance. Somebody really wants to. I'm getting someone healed. Somebody's moved on. They're doing great in their life, their career. I'm getting you're gaining a following as well. All right. I'm getting somebody wants to fight to be with you. Somebody wants to put in the work to be with you here. But I'm getting this was a third party. Somebody already has someone or lied about something here what's the messages yeah the five of cups somebody this could you could be dealing with an aquarius or a sagittarius could even be a um an aries okay an aquarius a sagittarius or an aries energy here is heavy or Scorpio, but yeah, I'm getting someone miss you or they lost you or maybe you're doing well here. You're very balanced, sanguine, peaceful. This is too many. Yeah, Eight of Cups, you walked away, Four of Wands. You walked away from someone and I'm getting someone wants a relationship with you here. Yeah, the High Priestess and the Three of Swords. What's the messages here? I'm, I'm just getting the, the energy. Yeah, the two of cups and the king of swords. So we have the queen to the king of swords. So this is a perfect match. I'm getting somebody's just in love with you. But I'm getting somebody here is not attracted or they, they're not taking any more actions or something's just not moving forward. Something doesn't have the spark that is needed to move something forward here. We have the king to the queen of wands, king to the queen of swords. Six of swords, nine of wands. I'm just getting, I'm getting somebody's trying to move on and someone's trying to stop them or, or, or play mind games or get in their way. Or I'm just getting somebody as petty as fuck. They're a troll and they're trying to stop someone's destiny or they're trying to do something here, manipulate something here. And it's not going to work. You have the eight of pentacles. Somebody wants to work on a, a situation here or... I'm getting, if you're in a competitive field here, whatever you do, you're doing, you're 
you're the best at what you do, basically. All right, so yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and the Hangman, Pisces energy. So I'm getting there's somebody here that's single. They work hard. We're going from the eight to the nine. Somebody's building upon themselves. I'm getting new opportunities here, really something to, to allow you to expand on your business, something that's going to really allow you to shine, all right? Okay. Yeah, the King of Cups. Now we have the King to the Queen of Cups. And the Chariot. You have the Seven of Swords. I'm getting military. I don't know why in the death card, Scorpio. So I'm in, I'm getting you ended it with the Scorpio because they're a liar, or they're a cheater, they're a con, they play games, they're petty, they're jealous, they're envious, they're they're whatever here. And what's the Seven of Swords? I'm getting somebody lied. The Seven of Swords, yeah, the Strength card came out in the Devil. All right, yeah, I'm getting somebody to a habitual liar. It could be a Scorpio or a Leo. I'm getting somebody can't help but to fucking lie. Yeah, the Empress and the Ace of Cups. Somebody could be pregnant here as well. This could involve a Libra or a baby mama. Now we have the Emperor to the Empress. So this is, this is, this is crazy. I'm just getting an energy here where somebody is just like really holding on to you, but they, they, they're they a liar or you see them as a liar. What's the devil in the seven of swords? Or you know, yeah, the knight of swords. I'm getting somebody wants to come in really fast towards you, but they're holding back because they know that they they've lied or they play games somebody's trying to be very strategic here yeah the six of swords you moved on with how to come towards you or somebody just is petty yeah the magician the magician and the devil and the moon is here somebody's petty somebody's trying to do magic to get you to be in love with them the higher font the lovers the three of pentacles to get you to work with them again yeah the king of pentacles somebody sees you as very abundant as basically yeah the justice and the page of pentacles. Somebody feels like it would be perfect to be with you or to collaborate with you. You're perfect for them. Somebody wants to be in the spotlight with you. I'm getting this as a connection. I, I don't know. The, it is a, a counterpart because we have all these these all these suits here. The king to the queen of cups. The um, the king to the queen of swords and the king to the queen of wands. But I'm getting somebody's using magic or manipulating magic to get somebody to come toward them and it's not working. The universe is not allowing it to happen. If you want to go towards somebody that you did wrong or lied to or betray, yeah, five of swords or play fucking mind games with, you go towards them in the correct way. If you did fucked up shit, go towards them and apologize in the correct way. Stop sitting back, stalking them, watching them, holding on to them, trying to possess them, trying to do magic to get them to come back in. I'm getting, it's not going to work with this person, seven of wands, okay? This could be a Taurus or a Gemini, a Scorpio, a Capricorn, an Aries, or a Leo. Could be a Libra. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. I'm getting somebody stressed out because they don't know how to come towards you or you're, or their magic isn't working. You aren't coming back or something like that. Yeah, the world is over. The Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. What's the nine of pentacles over here with the eight of pentacles? Yeah, the queen of queen. We're going from the nine to the queen of pentacles. I'm getting somebody here is a millionaire or they're going to be or they're very well off. Somebody works hard. They're very studious. They're very learned here. Yeah, the higher font. Somebody is, I'm getting somebody is very, very skilled here. Very wise as well. I'm getting somebody is enlightened or somebody enlightens people with the hangman. What's the hangman? Yeah, the eight of wands. And the three of pentacles, yeah. I'm getting a lot of uploads or a lot or 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 something like that. Or a lot of emails here about work or about your work. 
I'm getting somebody, I'm getting somebody, the work that someone does is, is enlightening. Yeah, justice and truth, speaking truth here with the page of pentacles. Somebody could be, yeah, they could work with, I'm just getting a, a somebody who is self-made. All right. Yeah, the high priestess. All right, I'm getting a tarot reading with the three of pentacles online. Yeah, ace of cups, somebody very special. I'm getting... Yeah, somebody that's very victorious. People love what you do here. Okay. Nine of swords, seven of cups. I'm getting some, there's somebody losing sleep somewhere. Somebody plagued by their fucking thoughts that want to be back with you. Yeah, five of pentacles. Where the fuck did this come from? What is the five of pentacles? Yeah, the tower, the world, the eight of swords. Somebody's trying to sabotage you with this, with the, with these attempts that they're, at, with these pathetic attempts of magic that they're doing, but it's not going to work or spell work. They're trying to sabotage you, or they're trying to uh, get you to come back, or both. Okay, they feel like if they sabotage you, if you don't have money, you'll feel low about yourself and you'll come towards them. I'm getting somebody really wishes that you would, your self esteem would break down so that they, that you would come towards them. I'm getting you're still not. Like you, the, whatever, and, and plus this person's magic or or whatever fuck they do are not working. They look like a fucking clown and a joke. Yeah, Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. They're gonna be confused when they come when they're they're very confused as to why their their shit ain't working. I'm getting because you're trying to fuck with somebody who's an initiate. You can't do that shit on them. Three of Wands, the Sun. Yeah, somebody's looking, planning towards the future. They're happy. They're they're not worried about this. Yeah, this is Ten of Swords three. This is someone who betray you. Just period. They're holding on to you. They're watching. They're very insecure about coming towards you. They they they. They're very hateful as well. Five of Swords. Very jealous. Very competitive. I mean, a je jealous to an extreme extent to where it's disgusting. And this is a male energy. I'm going to say that again. So, yeah, this person is in love with you, but they're jealous. They're holding on to somebody else. I'm getting somebody e even in another relationship. They don't want that person, though. Okay? Or they don't sleep in the same bed with that person. Or they don't want them. Or the sex is bad. Or they get on their fucking nerves or whatever. They want to come towards you. You're fine as hell. You're independent. You're a star. You're very, you're, you're going to be world renowned here. You're very well known or, or very popular, sanguine, very spiritual, very in tune with yourself. Okay. And somebody, what's the high priestess? Somebody really uh, likes that. But they really hate it though. Somebody here wants to break you or take you from your gifts or or whatever because they feel like they'll have a better chance with you. This bitch, this motherfucker could become a millionaire tomorrow and they wouldn't have a fucking chance with you. You see this person as a devil, just period. All right. Yeah, the high priest is justice. Somebody's worried about what you know, too. Nine of Swords, Justice, somebody's worried about your truth or what you know or karma or or something like that. Yeah, somebody's really worried about that shit. Yeah, somebody's insecure about going towards this Libra. Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands. I'm getting like somebody feels there's a block between being with this person that they feel they're meant to be with, but they fucked up or they lied or they betrayed uh, or they did whatever. And now, and, and this person knows they did it. They're high priestess and they, they blocked them or they don't want nothing to do with you or vice versa. Now somebody's heartbroken or sad. I'm getting somebody's heartbroken, sad and crying over this Libra or Libra, this is you. You know which side you're on. Okay, so those are your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.